folks to the Doberi Show. My name is Dan Vosobir. Today we are privileged to host amazing people on studio. On my, at the middle here we have Madam President, Lorraine Koske. Mm -hmm. And then we have, on my right hand side, we have Congo Weam Swahili. Hello. So today I'd like to discuss about concrete life. So I'd like to ask Madam President, Please tell us about yourself a bit. So, hi guys. Mm. Uh, my name is Lorraine Chemutai Koske. I am the president of Kabarak University 2022-2023. I am also the director of Hostel and Campus Security. And I am the chairperson of peer counseling. But besides my leadership, I am a law student currently joining for THEA. Yes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So many titles there. Kongoya Mswahili, tell us about yourself. Yo, I'm Kongoya Mswahili. I'm a law student. I'm a government critique. I'm also an entrepreneur. Amazing. What, what kind of entrepreneurship? <laughs> ah, I do franchise, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Madam President. Yes. Actually, comrades uh, really want to know uh, about you a bit. We don't know what is happening. What is really happening eh? in school? Yeah. Uh, so, um, currently, there's a lot that's going on. Of course, life is life and life is really moving. I got into office in November, end of November last year. But if we are being very honest, we started work in January since. Uh, December was basically the holidays and exams. Mm. And uh, besides that, you can find me on all social media platforms, I think. Yes, yes, the major ones. Mm. So it's not only TikTok. Uh, but besides that, there's a lot that has been going on in office since January uh, till now. And uh, currently, a small disclaimer, I am not on session uh, since the law students are currently on long holiday. However, September to Narudi now by. But I think by September your, your tenure as president will be elapsed actually. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. oh, no. So how, 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 how I, I'll, I'll, I'll oh. still have uh, three months mm. in office. Mm. So by the end of November. Mm. However, mm. if it can be noted mm. and this should be mm. clear, activities of course have been going on. Mm. We tackled the January semester successfully, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. and uh, currently the mm -hmm. Kuso uh, leaders who are actually in office, holding office for us currently, mm -hmm. are doing the best. So we have been working. So it doesn't really matter that three months are, are remaining uh, when I come back. Mm -hmm. What matters is mm -hmm. comrades are being served. Yes, yes. Kongoya, do you yeah. feel satisfied to you? Uh, actually, uh, yes, Madam President, you say that the end of the semester is been successful, man. Mm. So, a lot of activities actually been held, like the girl night, you say the Kuso activities like uh, sports, yeah. So, for your, your side, actually, which is the largest budget you ran last semester? That's actually, as comrades, you should know, because you are a president who inaugurated you to office. So we should ascertain that. Uh, uh, first of all, yeah. <laughs> you're very. But anyways, <laughs> uh, so I think yeah. I think I think uh, in every other year, yeah. the event with the biggest budget is always the gala night. Yeah. And of course, you saw. Yeah, it was perfect. Go to the Kabarak YouTube channels. You yeah. can view the Kabarak gala night there. Yeah. Uh, some snippets. Yeah. So of course. It was worth the amount was that amazing. was used because yeah. it was really amazing and the fact that we have external artists mm. uh there are a lot of things so that go on you can't disclose the amount uh, i cannot really disclose the amount yeah. unless uh honestly, how you call some observers to accounts on how you the school the comrades the school because you serving the comrades and they actually they should be responsible on that because sometimes it's the money their money, yeah. So let me give you a little bit of schooling on how school events yeah. are held in Kabarak University. Right. Yeah. So uh, basically, yeah. first of all, the student leaders don't have the money in their hands. Yeah. It's we don't have direct access to that. So it simply means you don't even know how much you have. How much? Mm, we don't. 
So you yeah. don't approve the budget? We approve the budget. Mm, yeah. Uh, but can I please give an account? Then after that, yeah. you can ask. Uh, you can attack now where you feel quite okay. possible. Okay. Yeah, please. Type, yeah. So what happens with school events is the money is uh, actually a school fund kitty, and of course it has to be approved by the management mm -hmm. before any money is used. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, the uh, when you go to the finance office, mm -hmm. you'll always find that uh, the money that is used is accounted for. Mm -hmm. And the school generally uh, is the watchdog. The we at Kuso mm -hmm. plan events, mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of the day, for any approval to be made, mm -hmm. there must be a budget that is not only approved by the dean, mm -hmm. but also the provost, the DVC in charge of finance, and also the vice chancellor. Mm -hmm. So before any event, actually, mm -hmm. you do get that there are a lot of formal processes that it goes through, mm -hmm. and uh, rigorous uh, vetting of whatever event we want to host mm. so you might get that application to actually have an event mm. takes almost a month before it's month, approved yeah, yeah. and uh if you may notice mm. uh, something like gala mm. is always something that was in the may semester mm. however as we finished last year we noticed mm. that in the may semester there will be very few students mm. so to make comrades feel very included mm. in events we held most events last semester where mm. the comrades were actually men in school mm. and um Yes, that's basically how the events go about. Mm. So after me describing that, uh, could you now please ask me? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So actually, I was asking you mm -hmm. whether after the DVC and the VCs have approved the budget, so you are being given the money, I no. guess? They don't touch anything. You don't, they don't touch yeah. any money yeah. from the school. And oh, as a disclaimer, yeah. uh, the money is always fixed by the school. It's not the us who fix so it. So it simply means, in short, uh -huh. that you don't have the power of the money. We have the power to budget whatever we want. But you don't even know how much is in the accounts, how we much know. is raised. Do you know that? Yes. So, so, so does it mean all the money goes back to the school? What is happening? Because uh roughly mm -hmm. i think we as kuso as, mm -hmm. as a company mm -hmm. we raise over 1.5 million yeah. a semester. Mm -hmm. and your budget if you're paying means the budget doesn't even go beyond hundred thousand mm -hmm. hundred yeah. thousand yes uh, yeah. Ex excluding the activities the excluding activities, the activities. Mm -hmm. simply means the money goes back to the school so mm -hmm. if you have realized mm -hmm. We actually have conducted several events, mm. and these events always require money. Mm. So at the end of the day, mm. depending on the number of activities that we conduct, is how much you can consume that money. Mm. So basically, yes, mm. um, we m sometimes, especially during, you find that the previous years, especially last year and the year before, mm. because of COVID and everything, money of course went back to the school. But I can't lie. As much as as of now, mm. we are we have really conducted several activities yeah. that has seen yeah. it, least, it yes mm. being catered, uh, student activities being mm. promoted, mm. yes. Okay. So, Madam President, have you ever yeah. prepared for a budget and took it the VC and DVC and the night to approve it? Yes. Yeah. Many times, huh? Uh, oh. It's it's always a there's whatever our students want versus. Mm. So, but, so mm -hmm. you took a budget to the DVC and the VC the night. So, what do you did the comrades that who sent you the plan Because I mean, the night approved budget here. We simply don't give up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. in the final end, they are always approved because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's not about me; it's about the comrades. The so, comrades, yeah. whenever something is rejected, we go over and over again mm -hmm. till it's it's, it's, it's approved. Mm -hmm. So it's we we are not bargaining about comrades' issues. It's either it gets done or gets mm -hmm. done. So even if it's rejected the first time, mm -hmm. go for the second time. If it if it's you the tenth it. time, yes, that it will be approved. It mm -hmm. will be approved then. So at the end mm -hmm. of the day, yeah. Borai comrade, I to Namibia. That's amazing. Amazing. Okay. Um, maybe there are some few comrades who had questions for the president. Can I give them some time? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, Mr. Calvin, you had a question to the president. Oh, actually, I yeah. discovered that uh, you people are so bit about money to mm. the funds. Eh? Mm. The funds is a very sensitive part. Eh? Mm. But at the end of the day, money is not enough. Mm. 
So I want to go beyond money mm. and ask about education. Eh? <laughs> That's yes. what I came here. Yes. Okay. And we will use money to acquire education. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Please so I want to raise your question, voice eh? a bit. About what happened just yesterday. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't want to dream about questions. Eh? Yes. I want to ask what I saw. Mm. So I discovered that uh, law school actually. Mm. Um, they they brought up a list, progression list, mm. whereby students with uh, up to four units yes. or above four units which are pending, mm. they are supposed to come and uh, uh, either with the parent or guardian mm. to discuss that issue. Just a moment. Is the audio clear? It could clear. Yeah, okay, so you can continue. Yes. So. Mm. Actually, I have to be part of the students, mm. uh, and my 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 opening units mm. were actually uh, inclusive of the incomplete. Mm. Either I ever did an exam, mm. or I won't receive my marks. So mm. when we came mm. uh, with, with my guardian, mm. we actually faced a hard time. Mm. Since I came to Canberra, I've never mm. been <laughs> such. <situation. laughs> so. So you simply mean now this Kabarak is calling parents uh, to school. I'm what do you mean? You see, uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy that the yes. president uh, yes. is also a law student. Are, yes. Uh, I'm very embarrassed to embarrass the, the, the students. I'm, 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 already I'm a parent. <laughs> so there's a parent <laughs> meeting. <laughs> so I thought they want to bring my, my, my father. I hope you are competing with parents. Yes. <laughs> to, to, to school yes. to discuss an issue of a parent. Yes. But my first question is, mm. why is it that uh, you are calling parents mm. to represent uh, 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 an, an adult mm. in university? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I think first of all, <laughs> unless you are self-sponsored, if you are self-sponsored, you will come and represent yourself. Mm. So if your parent is paying your fee, mm. of course, it's... Um, it's something that, uh, of course, the parent has to be involved, mm. especially if you wrote them down when you were registering uh, to join law school that they are mm. the ones who are your guardians and they are the ones who are paying your fee. Yes. So that's, that's cases where a parent is called. Mm. However, I know many comrades will say no, uh, Actually, this is, the first, this is the first time <laughs> I'm hearing that yeah. in a university level, mm. as, as old as a student is, Someone mm. who is married. A parent is being someone to school. Yeah. It's embarrassing. So I, uh, it's embarrassing. Uh, the only, because I also asked about that mm. issue. Were you, were you involved in the first place? In the terms Kuso, of? Kuso. Were you involved? Uh, these the, are the matters of, uh, mm. generally, mm. let's say actually, since law school mm. is the, the one which always conducts its progression seriously, mm. since time immemorial, mm. it was founded in 2010, mm. and it's ha it has always had progression actually. Mm. However, um, ku, kujaribu tu kuona, mm. uh, of course people feel it very unnecessary to call your parents to school yes. uh, for matters of your education, mm. however it's just for accountability matters. Tumejua wa makomrezu nyo wamekula fi. Unaona? Mm. Asa, msea hizi nile enye, msea kuna, unakuta msea kuna 12 pending units mm. na kuna semester enye kufanya completely. Mm. Na sayo mzazi ya nalipa fee. Mm. Sasa, it's just for issues of accountability matters. Mm. And then pia, mm. saa zingine enye, komrezu wanajaribu kusaidiwa, mm. juu, ndo umalize shule, mm. saa zingine lazima ufuatwe kama mm. komrezu wengine. Mm. But, mm. We, we do understand that saa zingine it's very embarrassing for a comrade mm. and all that. And so we try and see it. Okay, how can this be handled much better? The mm. manner to listen, I'm sure you can But uh, generally, mm. these are general matters of accountability mm. on the part of a student mm. and uh, it's just for the school. Yeah. Yeah. So, to say, basically, mm. there's a 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 from the online exam. Mm -hmm. Now the incomplete Zimepeleko Zikakua retake. He is being forced, forced to, to take to the recheck the units the year yes. she did the exams. Yes. It's actually the the, 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 the failure of the school. The, yeah. yeah, the failure of the lecturer yeah. to take the marks to the system. Do you think the, the parents should be victimized for that? Okay. Eh? Okay. When you decide what you want to do, already before I come, you see, 
I was cold because I've been trying to scratch and reach a friend and speak up. But when I get there, they have already decided that it's actually terrible. We look at you like this, you see, like they have already decided that it's going to be edited, a retake, and uh, it, there, there is no remedy. I want to carry the, the units next semester as retakes, and I have to complete them before I proceed. You see, that, that's something that you could even email eh? or, and say that mm. if you have four pending units, they have already been taken as retakes and, and, and you are going to take them before you proceed. But that's an issue that has made your school to call the parent eh? together with your comrade to come to school just to pass the, 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 the judgment. I think it should be fair that if I come, a decision should not have been made at the first place. We should come and agree. Okay. Mm. So. You, you, okay. Yeah. The, about the law school issue, yeah. actually, um, the call for application of incomplete mm. or missing marks mm. was called upon immediately after the release of the exam, and mm. people are given a grace period of almost a month. Yes. 45 days actually to ensure that they have reported any missing marks. Yes. And um, mm. and uh, after that, uh, if you have not reported any missing marks, mm. per se, mm. incomplete becomes a retake. And the problem with um, comrades sometimes is they don't follow up on issues. Do, do, do comrades know these, these rules? They were sent an email but on that. No, they didn't. Uh, did they the mention that? If you yeah, fail to adhere to 45 days, it's going to be a retake. They were sent an email mm. to but apply for the They, they include about the retake, kamo me fail kwao nini kuchukua yoma. Actually, mm -hmm. personally, I'm a comrade. Mm -hmm. They just say, please fill your missing marks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they are tricking someone to yeah. fail to to do the missing marks, to to fail to fill the form, and then they they just force you to do a retake. Yeah. Don't you think that you need to ask, to ask someone? Yeah. So it's basically, yeah. uh, are you coerced uh, sometimes, for example, mm -hmm. to go and eat? No, actually, see, what we are simply, talking simply here is about what the incomplete. Yes. They come read the exams. Yes. The lecturer yes. failed to check the marks yes. the system. Yes. So who has the mistake? So, the one who has a mistake generally is a lecturer, right? Yeah. But whenever you're really hungry for your marks, you'll go after them. And in case a lecturer mm. does not put your incomplete said your report about it, mm. it will definitely be taken note of that this lecturer mm. has not. I am speaking for law school generally, mm -hmm. uh, that a lecturer has not uh, filled in your marks, mm. and actually it's the fault of the lecturer. Mm. Sasa shida ukuju wakatu usipo fuatilia. Maybe, maybe, eh. let's take for, for this instance, mm. a comrade that call on all this, mm. Labda ajui kama kuna kitu like, kama missing yeah, marks, sindio? Missing marks. Labda maybe at some circumstances, uja maa koko katikati ya msitu, there's no like network. Like, no network. Huh? Actually, yeah, sometimes you are yeah. not coming from the same background. Yes. Don't you think? The other comrades don't you think? possess yeah. smartphones. Yes. So don't they should look at that. Mm. Eh? Mm. Okay, hope you let it out to me laughing. <laughs> because at the end of the day, any of my job not as a Because uh, at the end of the day, I'm saying that I'm going to max it out. So I'm saying that I'm going to max it out. So I'm saying that I'm going to max it out. So I'm saying that I'm Aya, sasa ukitumia internet na hivyo na upate uko na missing marks, unaandika email. That's the process you're supposed to follow. You're just supposed to People write an email. People don't know about this, by the way. They don't know. They don't, don't know about this. Yeah. Yeah. They, don't, they simply don't know about this. Because hmm? <laughs> cause I, am, I am sure that these are things that are hmm. written in the knee. Hmm. And that's why hmm. you always have the lecturer's hmm. email. So there, hmm. in case you have a problem with that lecturer, email them and tell them I have missing marks for this and this and this. Hmm. And as lawyers, you know that at the end of the day, if I come and tell you I emailed you, hmm on 24th March. Mm. Here is the evidence. Mm. Of course, nani atakatana ni email iko. Kama lecturer haku respond to that email, mm. then basi the fault is on the lecturer side. Mm. No, no. Mm. Um, so, so I think that's what uh, basically happens mm. in the sense that you're supposed to email a lecturer in mm. case you are in case you have missing marks. Maybe some of some of these legs don't even respond. To respond, yeah. To now that's their fault. Yeah. Now, so, after the, yeah. Kuso should, should actually be 
sentiment because among the people, the students about. Because the strangers, mm. yeah. Because you should care about the welfare of the, the students. The welfare of the students. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, uh, before we complain about the rules, eh, mm. I have a question, mm. Madam President. Mm. Yes. You see, the the rules we are using, mm. some of us we came and found them. Mm. I'm I'm not asking when 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 they were coming come with the with these rules. Were the students uh, in fault because they, they look so cruel? Mm. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> they are good. Yeah. Mm. By the way, yeah, even asking. drafting the constitution, mm. the citizens, yeah, they are always involved. No, yeah. this is a business entity. Mm. That is actually, some. actually, yes. the constitution uh, yes. yeah. is drafted by uh, student leaders. I think the current is from 2020 yeah. to 2025. So those who are there in that train drafted that constitution. Mm. And the students handbook, of course, it has a lot of input from the management. Mm. And at the end of the day, you do get that. Sometimes there are some uh, cultures that Kabarak has had that are prevailing. And uh, comrades must realize we're just here for four years. We are passing by. So it's just it's just a small stage, mm. and uh, when you're in Rome, you mm. basically do what the Romans do. Mm. However, in mm. case for harsh rules, mm. we always go after them. Mm. Honestly, if something is too harsh, mm. for instance, it, what have you maybe changed in the constitution? Constitution. So uh, the amendment of the constitution is mm. just through proposals, mm. and currently. Mm. In your camera banner. Mm. Uh, currently, the proposals even we have given out, uh, the mostly um, local arrangements work yeah. rather than following the process. Yeah. How will you follow the process for something like uh, someone was stopped at the gate because of uh, maybe dressing? You see, mm-hmm. those are just local things sometimes. Mm-hmm. And us as student leaders, mm-hmm. whenever possible, what's up? <laughs> but generally, we always try and see yeah. mm-hmm. to, to communicate also in a much more civilized manner. Mm-hmm. We do feel that the students want this. We do feel that the students uh, want this rule relaxed a little bit. Mm-hmm. And sometimes mm-hmm. dialogue works best rather than paperwork. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. we might not announce it generally, mm-hmm. uh, of course, to the students, mm-hmm. but there are some things that we always ensure that the rules are relaxed a little bit mm. so that they can favor the students mm. and this since some of these things are local arrangement yeah. of course you can't always be exposing them yeah. they just happen mm. people will will not extremely if you have not been extremely active on that thing you won't notice it mm. yeah. but if you have yes you will See, we are talking one on one. Yes, we need the killers. Eh? Mm. See, we have done our part. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm doing. Nisawa. Yeah. So, another question. Eh? <laughs> yes. Uh, why is law school so serious mm. than other schools? Because I've discovered that. <laughs> <laughs> Some students mm. uh, who know we are uh, undertaking law, mm. so us in school, mm. they were worried. What are you doing in school with parents? Mm. <laughs> in fact, yes. I'm only visiting now to as at the community of Guana Zemaki. I'm a Mugujo to Salimia, and you are to be in a body of them. But I was, I was not even able to explain what I'm doing in school. Mm. Eh? Like it's 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 so unique that mm. law school is mm. behaving as a different institution outside Kambarak. Mm. Now, Mr. Madam President, why yes. why is that? Mm. Now, yes, I can confirm to you mm. that Kambarak Law School is very unique, mm. and the main reason Kambarak Law School is behaving that way is we want to produce the best lawyers in the country. Mm. As you may know, mm. what have we come to school to do? What have you come to school to do? To acquire my degree. To acquire your degree. What have Just you come to? Just want to get the experience, by the way. Experience. Yeah. What have you come to school to do? Uh-huh. To study. <laughs> <laughs> now, why should the school be serious on matters of studies? Mm-hmm. Basically, yes. what happens is at the end of the day, mm. and this is just to even 
even if this is to other comrades who are yet to join mm. yeah. Kabarak. Mm. Kabarak is quite serious on its education. Mm. And mm. as per um, outside here, Ningetaka tutu danganyana na tuambiane tunatafta degree. Hadi mi ni kwa hivyo first year, nikuwa tunatafta degree. But sahi, I do realize the importance that education is actually very important. And as much as kila mse usema first class si ya... First class bana. Ay, ay, by the end of the day. Let me assure you. Quality education is very important and Kabarak wants to give out quality education mm. and that's why it will be strict on matters of academics. Mm. So at the end of the day, that's not something that yeah. will change. The that uniqueness really. and the seriousness of uh, Kabarak generally, not only even law school, uh, is the, the fact that they want to bring out the best. And Akuna Akuna Ajaya tulete malo ya wabovu huko nje then wakuliza huli toka chuo gani wako huko zile za ati oh minu mse wa kabara kati kumbe kabara kikono wa sionyo wana kuanga na ufala ufala wako serious maybe no to me I believe that an institution should always involve the the administrations and then the students and then the 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 parents yes all the guardians but now what what the school is doing is just implementing policies at the stake of the student. Mm -hmm. yeah. Such as? Uh, like like uh, Mr. Calvin here asked the question. Mm -hmm. The other time, at Ito, yes. Lakini kuito kwa ke ilikuwa formality. No, no. Just to satisfy the formality at he amekuja. I mean, amekuwa involved kupewa yori tech. Don't you think that is being so unfair in a way? So, yes, sometimes it's quite unfair. Of course, and that's why you always have an option of appealing your decisions, actually. Please, if you feel that was very unfair to you, I just go to the dean of students. So, not the dean of students, the dean of uh, law school. If the dean of law school, you feel that's unfair, go to the, regi the registrar of academics and research. Yes. So, you can always appeal your decisions. That's why you have that option. Okay, feel like comrade umefinyilua na lek, umefinyilua na shule yako, domana kuna management. Alafu pia, by the way, we always try and restrain. The first issue of retex actually turning mm. into com incomplete. Mm. It's not law school which started that issue. Mm. The first issue that uh, I came, it, it came to my table mm. and I actually had to consult with the registrar about that is the school of business. Mm. The school of business also they are incomplete, so are turning into Fs. Mm. And I had to hard sit down with the registrar on that issue. Mm. And of course, mm. honestly, sometimes the school makes logic. Mm. And seeing whatever whatever its in objective what as, in, in in the way that mm. they want to raise mm. competent people out here Maybe you see no. sasa ni lenye. that's why i told you you might see so me raising as, competent people yeah. mm, by coercing people man. by coercing like uh, the oh, students yeah, yeah. i'm see, so sorry man. i have not gotten <laughs> my point is, yeah. you mm -hmm. the money for it takes mm. no, no, not even it takes uh -huh. it's complete uh -huh. it has just been changed to be uh, 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 a retake, yeah. which is a failure, which you should pay for, mm -hmm. and then go back to class. Yes. But an incomplete is maybe you never did a cut or an exam. Why do you have to pay fifteen thousand just mm -hmm. to retake something that you you need to do an exam and just? How much? How much did you just say retake? Fifteen thousand. Oh, school actually. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and transaction mm -hmm. fee. Mm -hmm. Transaction <laughs> fee. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's that's almost fifty fifty three hundred. Okay. Yes, yes. Madam President, Madam President, so whatever I have to say is, at the end of the day, any comrades who shiki kasa zingi ne. Yeah. Adi mimi ni meko sa exam during the kwamu gonjo. Adi kuna okay, I have not missed a cut before, but. Ni ile yenyewe saa zingine watu uko sa cuts juu ya reasons bana labda uko out on a burial or something uh, but one thing for sure kuna times hadi hata nimekosa kukua kwa list ya ati oh me meet criteria kufanya exam but nilienda kufanya mbona unajua saa zingine unashughulika unashughulikia comrades unakuta umekosa class unaona so what happens is wakati uko na issues kama hizo namba notify the lecturer why you can't usifanye kuna vitu zingine msifanye kimaksudi kitu kama kutofanya cut but sasa ukifanya ukifanya cut na ukute kuna missing marks unashow to lecturer mbona kuna missing marks unaona alafu pia in case you miss cut your reasons kama oh i was sick that one you also you just show the lecturer and of course 
since we are all law students, um, especially the ones asking me the questions, yeah. you all know the importance of evidence. Mm. So sometimes you might say you're sick, mm. but enyewe usingizi ilikuweza unawana. Asa, lazima ushokuwa, enyewe nilikuwa mgonjwa, na ndui medical report. But at the end of the day, so, for example, una, una, una try to kwenchua kwa, ume, ume follow up on those things, such as when you miss a cut, you do them. So at the end of the day, ukiwa na incomplete, and you believe that you should not have that incomplete. Yeah. Fuatana na uyo lecturer. Fuatana na uyo lecturer bana. Usiachilie, uyo lecturer akikata, enda kwa din. Uyo dina akikata, registra ako. Kuna ma DVC wako. So mwisho wa siku, when you get that you have problems, especially with your marks and mm. incomplete being turned to retake, wala yes. umofuatilia vizuri na ukona sufficient reason evidence. na evidence, yeah. iyo uneza penya bana. Mm. No, na okay. uneza pe- penya kufanya hizi maritex. Mr. Calvis, have you tried to follow up? Actually, I mm. uh, was very tough on them because uh, I was sure I did the exam mm-hmm. and they cut, but mm. I'm missing my, mm. my, my final mark. Mm. Mm-hmm. So actually, the, the lecture we we went to solve the issue with. Yes. Was was concluding that if I can't be that is actually an F. I mm. said no. Mm. You see, it's better I'm told that I scored an F mm. than knowing and retaking, not knowing what I scored. Mm. I said, let me just know the grade. Mm. Mm. And actually, I promise you, if I get that I, I, I pass it very well, mm. you must need to do it. And, and also, uh, <laughs> sorry. Mm. They must have a question. Do you have any questions? So, I have some questions. Yes. Miss. So, mm. ma- madam, actually, look at the recheck money. Law school will pay 15000 mm. and these are a school pay 10000 mm. What's the difference between the exams of law school and the other schools? Because uh-huh. at, we are the same institution, actually. Yes. Yeah. We are being served by the same lecturers. Mm-hmm. Does it mean the law school lecturers are? being paid more money than these other lecturers mm. so what about the school oh, fees yeah yeah in terms mm. of salary mm. i don't know how much the lecturers receive yeah i mm. only know about mine yeah. <laughs> okay. and then uh, also to kikujama stories uh my stories uh i think a difference here law school na mashule zingine mm. of which kabarak is one institution mm. and all schools are actually held in the seriousness mm. and matter mm. that they should be. But of course, mm. sisi tukanza na vitu kama Bible for lawyers. Mm. Tukanza kuva suti, tunatesa shule. Mm. But that, that's not reason for the increase in money. Mm. But of course, law school, law school is very unique. And I guess law students, we are proud to always say that. Mm. For example, you're looking really sharp. Mm. You're also mm. looking sharp as mm. much as you're not in law school. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there's a certain criteria and of yes. course, the oomph that come with things in law school. Mm. Of course, it's there. And uh, uh, as much as it's not a price to pay for yeah. at times, um, the, the matters of retake and the money paid for retake is just simply because of uh, the seriousness that uh, comes with law school, actually. Mm. Uh, okay. Mm. okay. So, do you have any other questions? Yeah, yeah, I have a, uh, yeah. the retake and maybe. So, actually, uh, is about retake again? No, no. We'd like to. Muni uliza ni maatent man na retake. Ata amwezi uliza kani. Actually, I had one question. Yes, Mr. Moderator. Yes, yes. Is about leaving the burden of the retake money. Are you able to leave the burden because that money is quite much? Yes, we have tried to live with the burden actually. Mm. Yeah. Of course, it's always in constant consultation with the school mm. uh, about these matters. And of course, we try we try as much as possible to front that issue. Mm. We have fronted that issue, of course, mm. of the what, take money. What is the response? And um, currently, mm. we are still following up on mm. it. Mm. Yes. So you are trying to negotiate yes. from 10,000 to what? So mm. those are matters that also the one who imposed can also uh look upon mm. since uh we the one thing with the development don't you think that you know, why is to the students and trying the course to of and, that and that's why, why yeah. Yeah. and that's yeah, why uh, yeah. we try as much as possible yeah. Yeah. so these are not issues we've also faced these issues yeah. at the end of the day yeah. and so we also know that it's painful we have our friends who are always around of course ukilipanga parallel alafu kona retex pia of course yoni pesa mingi sana sure, sure, sure. so we try as much as possible kutetea since tunafile enyewe mm. eh, na sisi ndio tuna front zoma proposals okay. eh, so we heading to a version where 
going to ask you short questions. Mm -hmm. Please be very responsible. So, so far as President Kabarak, uh, do you feel that you've achieved your manifesto that you gave to the people? So the manifesto that I gave to the people, mm -hmm. I feel that I have achieved uh, part, if not most of it, as much as I do know what your lady is hosting, lazima wapate wifi kabla ni toke. So it's something that's actually that is in uh, an ongoing project and the installation has already started. And uh, we are hoping that it will be completed by next semester. And of course, there are several other things that were in my manifesto that have been fulfilled. And we are trying to work on others since some things are also progressive. Yeah, yeah. Which is yes. the biggest uh, manifesto you've achieved so far? The big development in Kabarak. The so starting of the, the Wi-Fi project. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's as director of hostel. Yeah. Uh, is uh, the Wi-Fi project has officially started since being requested back in almost 2018, 2017. Yeah. So it has officially started. Mm -hmm. And I think as presidency, yeah. one of the greatest achievements I've achieved is successfully yeah. planning for the gala night. That's one of one for the books. Oh, changing yes. the. Type. Not only changing, but mm. actually planning for an event that uh, mm. has not been seen uh, for years. It was really amazing in my part, as okay, as me, mm. and I do hope. Mm. Can you concur with that? Uh, sure. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. So, and then uh, maybe any challenges you are facing as president? <laughs> so. Uh, I am going through a lot. Mm. <laughs> going through a lot. <laughs> so, of course, there are very many challenges that mm. come with presidency. I can't lie to you. Mm. And honestly, mm. yes, they always say that you must be strong, but sometimes you must mm. even shed a tear mm. in these things. Mm. So, so that I can encourage mm. more people to want leadership. Mm. I'll not expose so much of my struggles, mm. but every day is a struggle actually. Mm. But of course you get sometimes when you're pushing for certain matters, mm. they get rejected. Mm. When you're trying to even um, try to see if uh, you can be able to balance the studies and the leadership quite well yeah. and always prioritize things. Sometimes these are challenging that you never have it all. Mm. So unakuta sa zingine enyewe, you just there's a lot on your plate. Mm. As you've had, I hold a lot other more roles, yeah. and that's also that's a lot on my plate. So mm. you, I, I, I do get a lot of challenges. Mm. Uh, sometimes you break down, but the one thing I I know about this life is mm. we have to keep moving. Mm. Okay. So yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yes, Madam President. Mm. Uh, actually, we have some students in Cabra who are struggling, like fee. Yeah, do you have any kitchen that uh, actually that can charge their hearts so at least they continue the examinations? So, yeah. generally, in terms of even the fee, um, we there's uh, initially pre COVID, mm. there was always the Cabra Calf Marathon. Mm. And the proceeds from that always went to the kitty yes. of students who are needy. And even with my various talks with the vice chancellor about the issue of fee, you do find that um, there's actually a kitty mm. for needy students. Yeah. And um, of course, you have to report it to the administration yeah. through the dean of students, yeah. to the provost. And then after that, it's forwarded to the vice chancellor. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a background check is done. Since kuna mas tude chiki, adi misa zingine una kutanga, una msea na kwambia sinaka kitu, de una mtumia do them na mona kitu. So, at the end of the day, they have... <laughs> They have to do a background check yeah. on students. So there are some students who have actually benefited mm. from the kitty. Mm. And uh, we are still trying to see the much we can do about mm. students with fear areas. Mm. But the one advice to students mm -hmm. is if you know that you'll have challenges with your fee, mm. please report it as early as possible. And then also apply for work study. Ensure you apply for work study if you feel that because it chips into your fee a little bit. And it also increases your chances of getting... Um, 
uh, some funds from the needy students kiti since tunajua yenyewe hapo wezi na pia wase apply help mu apply cdf mu apply county kuna ma staff mingi sana zenye ziko pia outside kabara yeah. zinaweza wasaidia kulipa fee mm-hmm. but please if you'll have a problem report as early as possible mm-hmm. ndo enye ikai genuine si uongoje exam time then useme mm-hmm. jusa zingine wase udai kuwa umekula hiyo fee mm-hmm. kama unakuja kusema mwisho wa sema eh okay acha okay. no madam president yes are you dating hiyo ni kati ya mimi na mtu mwenye madhani Comrades please yeah. tutafuteni yeah. na pia mtu ambaye mko na mashida msiogope msema ati oh ndio yeah. msichana mpa hills yeah. akai kuongelesha mtu yote please yeah. mtutafute yeah. alafu pia yeah. uh, by the way eh, nitakuwa ni baada ya ni spa encourage msome ni muone hapa ni masomo ufikisha watu yeah. so please comrades pia tutie bidi yeah. uh, whatever we are doing tuko tu hapa miaka 4 yeah. alafu tumalize yeah. and then i think the last shot ni yeah. Asante ni kwa kwa chuo. Eh like honestly kabara comrades are always the best. Yes. Amazing. Uh, the last one. Okay, time. actually thank you much the presidents mm-hmm. for showing up. Actually the show is being late. Mm-hmm. We've listened to you. So comrades, Ms. Kesha ni madam president anaongea. And actually we close it for that. Yeah. So folks, we ending the show in style. Uh, remember to hit the that red button and let's meet next time peace out oh. peace out